playing them for a year these all these nine songs that we did and we've been working on them pretty steadily but we haven't had many live shows yeah i think it's like four now probably yeah it's about four it hasn't been many but it practiced pretty much every week so yep. we knew them pretty inside out definitely we haven't we don't have anything recorded right now other than the stuff we've done with this mic, so we're definitely jumped to the chance and yeah, and we we just walked in and we had no idea what it was going to sound like. We knew it was going to be one mic, and we we walked in and pretty much set up, and within 15 minutes we had the first track down and didn't have to adjust anything really. Yeah, it was basically. I mean, it was like kind of like practice. I mean. It, it was yeah. almost the same day we'd practice anyway, but it was like practice with headphones on rather than the vocals coming from a PA. So it sounded like how we had played them at practice anyway. Yeah, and the the sound through the the headphones was it wasn't overpowering in any in any way. Um, it was there was one track, so I couldn't take out my drums, but I could hear them fine, and I could hear his vocals and the guitar, and we were just set up live and yeah, it just yeah it was, it was great blood is full hearts and hearts are like shoestrings always tied up in knots and coming on done and like this young heart it's never known true strings it's always tied up in knots Coming on done Uh, yeah, so we we did the first track and listen listen back through the system here, and it I mean it sounded like us. It sounded like how we play it in practice. It sounded great, good mix and everything. So we we're like, oh yeah, might as well do all the songs that we have because <laughs> why not? Yeah. His head is tied. Past recordings that I've done, you spend most of the time not playing, and the the best thing about this was that, I mean, we were set up and all our gear was there, and within 20 minutes, a half hour, we were playing, and that was the end of it. It was just whatever we were capable of doing, and whatever we were capable of playing, and so we were able to really focus on the music and. To have another experience like this to use the mic again and record in this way um just i i'd come more prepared with editing our music because that's that's all there really is to do yeah i think like the main issue with this process is that just things in the songs that we've like the arrangements and stuff like that it just it's allowed us to like listen back and hear what needs to be fixed and you know just kind of it's like that's been the only the only problem with it is that we're seeing things in the songs that aren't right so it's like a it's it's not a not a problem at all actually it's like it's kind of, back to what it really is is the playing yeah you didn't worry about the after process you worried about the now and what you were doing in that moment with each other too i mean you yeah. backing away from the mic and moving closer to the mic there's no punching in. I mean, that's the norm now. Yeah. Is to punch in, you know, certain sections. Like cut out. Oh, this guitar part sucks. I'll cut that out. Yeah. I mean, the the really yeah, the editing is you're playing. It definitely. I think it would definitely make it feel more like human and like natural. I mean, it's gonna sound natural because that's the way it's played live, basically. Yeah. It's. 
I guess, it, I mean, it goes back to, you know, early recordings. I mean, you had you had one take, and that was it. Yeah. And there was so much, so much bleed into every every other mic. If they had, you know, more than just a handful of mics, um, yeah, it, it reminds me of like a Muscle Shoal session or something where <laughs> you just you played it a few times until you got it right, and then that was the track that you had, and that was it. Yeah, I guess that you just have to be a good musician and know how to play your instruments. I guess is the the yeah. only problem. Which makes a great <laughs> recording, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> your source material is the only thing that really matters. I mean, you can play with it as much as you want in the end, but you're yeah. not going to get rid of that guitar squeal. Yeah, so pr I'm sure there's a lot of bands that would never be able to do this, because like, there's so many recordings that are so overproduced that when they play it live, it just sounds shitty and will never, ever sound like the recording. But I think it works for us, because it's so like two people, yeah. simple, easy. It captured our feel. Yeah. I don't. I don't think recording. I don't know if we could record separately. Yeah. Yeah. It would definitely. It would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> it would have to be live. I mean, our our music is so dependent on our feel and the flavor.